I was inspired to make rosaries because I had a dream one night and I made three rosaries perfectly. I told a friend about this dream and she told me about a bead shop that had just opened up in our area. I went directly to that bead shop and I sat down with the lady. She got out some wire and her pliers and showed me how to turn the wire. I bought all of the items that I needed. Of course, they weren't the quality that I use today. And I started making rosaries and it has progressed. We've received these gifts um, as my daughter's first communion gift, um, as Christmas gifts, as retreat gifts, and I know that they will be treasured for generations to come. I order from one bead supplier and he sends me good quality beads and unusual. Then I fall in love with them and make a rosary. Most of them are made with sterling silver, all sterling silver, bead caps, crucifixes, centers, wires, jump rings, chain, and then these beautiful stones. These rosaries are very special in that they have been prayed over by Sue Ann and Marie, and um, they have a power that we can't even describe. I pray about what kind of rosary I want to make, and I go into my meditation room and I pick out the beads. I buy my centers and my crucifixes from one company out of Troy, New York, and I also pray over them to decide which center and which crucifix I'm going to put with a particular rosary. So it's always a prayerful thought process in order to make what I would consider a pretty rosary with a certain kind of bead. I cannot in a million years think of something more precious than this rosary uh, to uh, just celebrate uh, the 40 years that my husband and I have shared. So one year my husband gave in and we went to the Holy Land and the Franciscans maintain many of the uh, sites in the Holy Land. They take care of orphanages, elderly people, a lot of the churches there. So when we were there, I promised our Lord that I would send 10% of my sales to the Franciscans in the Holy Land, which is what I do. And this year, I will write my biggest check to the Franciscans, and I am so proud to be able to do that. My goals in making these rosaries are, it's more a ministry than it actually is a business. But the bigger I become, the more I can help the Franciscans in the Holy Land. And the Christians in the Holy Land struggle so much. There's only one and a half percent Christians in the land where our Lord walked. And it's important to help those religious who are there trying to help the everyday Christian. The more rosaries I can make and the more rosaries I can sell, the more money I can send to the Franciscans. That is my singular goal.